hit new game welcome to the stream uh, Drake you saw something okay oh I see so Okay, so this is the area that we've already had access to. Alright, there's something to see here. Um, and I think I want to hit up the hotel first. Yeah, welcome to the stream, Drake. Welcome, Rafkin. Glad to see y'all here. We're just continuing some more with some more Thimbleweed Park. Um, and really the it's only thing I care dust. about is collecting as many specks of dust like this as I can. Just because that seems like a fun option. Huh. I can't open that. That doesn't seem to work. That is such a You're weird You're investigating option. here too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. He's hit mm. the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's know says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. Oh, we got a flashback. He was seen back. around the lobby area. Then he just vanished. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. Chuck wouldn't know a good idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. What luck finding some investors. Better get ready for them. Mm. It's a pillow bear prototype. Turn the plush bear inside out and you get a plush pillow. Don't tell Chuck, but pink is my favorite color. I hate blue. Let's hope I never go blue in the face. These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the next Cabbage Patch Kids. Chuck will be green with envy when he sees yeah, how great I'm this noticing... pillow bear is. These pillow bear prototypes are going to be the So, disguise appearance, check in, get duplicate of prospectus, whatever the heck a prospectus is. Oh, this is our prospectus. But yeah, I've been noticing as we've gone along that we've gotten a bunch of evidence that incriminates the, um, there are some coins the, at the hobo. Bottom. What a waste of money. Um, I have no idea what they're doing. And this chapter is called The Arrest, so I'm pretty confident that, um... I'm pretty confident that we've it got... Looks better from this side. ...a frame job on our hands. Words don't do it justice. Yeah, that's definitely something.
I'm just curious. Sorry, but we're out to dinner. Call back next week. Guys, that was the response from 911. It's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. <laughs> huh. Bell for calling the sheriff. I mean, hotel manager. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you? Oh, no. Sir? He's got another... He's wearing another hat. Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. What would you like to photocopy? A glass, a glass of wine. Sounds like a fascinating science experiment, Abu. However, I have a hotel, Abu, to run and don't have time for science. Static electricity? Someone told me electrostatic, Abu, is used to make photocopies. However, I don't know how to photocopy Abu that. Oh my gosh, it just keeps getting worse. Hang on. I feel like the... Music is running a bit too loud. Sure. Choice, but... <laughs> sir, sir, I cannot condone cruelty to animals, even toyaboo animals. This prospectus document. Sure thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. I'm get shredded or something. Now I should get my dazzling prospectus for the investors about turning the pillow factory into a toy factory. At least now I have a copy in case something happens to this one. Okay, hold up. Why is the music so loud this time around? Is that music somehow covered under I What in the world? I'm not thirsty. A good place to get a drink. I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. It's been lipstick to death. That's a weird sentence right there. Oh. That explains a lot. Hey dude, what's your damage? Yo dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. Mm. Except in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> You're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Phlegm Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like, bark me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. Your glasses are not the latest and greatest. These glasses gotta be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you.
I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. I'm trying oh, yeah. to see. I bet you don't know anything about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old lady from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... I'm so uncertain as to whether I'm supposed to be continuing this conversation or whether it's going to dead end unless I bring him something to trade. I've got a fly homie who... Get real! I'm like totally stopping you right there. No one who's tight would talk like that. No way do you know what's rad right now, poser! I would totally know what was- Oh yeah? I prove your- Sure, I can prove. I know some peeps who- Get real! I'm like totally- No one who- No way- I would- Oh yeah? Prove sure, I can prove it. I know this gnarly dude who- Hmm. was on MTV and Okay, so it's not the first one. I don't think it's the second. I'm thinking the third. Tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. Whoa! You're legit. <laughs> I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you've got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then, I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? Hey, dude, what's your damage? Hmm. You can't stop the music. It's locked. Doors are closed. Oh my. Well, this is going to be an interesting section. That is a lot of options. You know what? Penthouse. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Hmm. An ashtray for the smokers. The thing is, I'm assuming all of these doors it's locked will be locked. The doors are closed. Okay, let's make our way down from the top. There's got to be something useful on one of these levels. I'm probably approaching this completely wrong. It's an unplugged TV. I don't want to pick that up. I can't push that. Hmm. It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like this floor is under renovations. I should find another channel. It's now showing I love my cat. Another landscape? I'd rather look out the window. Hmm. Okay. It's getting dark out there now. Yep. 
working on. Now that we're out of the lobby, I think we can afford to have some amount of sound. An unmade bed. Okay, so we're probably going to have to call someone at some point in this if we've got access to a phone book. I don't want that. Who's the fairest of them all? The lid of a toilet. Things don't get more amazing than that. Hmm. I'm just going to keep my eyes open for anything that looks different. So far, all of these hotel rooms seem to be identical. Except for that TV right there. That TV is an oddity. All of the TV, all of these rooms have had TVs so far. the tenth, let's go to the ninth. Eighth. So the tenth was the one with all of the rooms open. Gotta remember that, because that's definitely going to come up at some point. <laughs> going down. I appreciate how they put the floor number just outside the elevator, making it easy to spot. Oh, there's some damage right there. know if he can actually go anywhere else. Oh, I guess push the elevator button also works. Uh, floor 4 is next. The only interesting ones so far are the penthouse, which we just straight up can't select, and the tenth floor, where everything's open. And we get access to several identical rooms and a single random TV. Hmm. 
I don't want to pick that up. Let's see if we can go anywhere else. Not enough, not enough time to leave the hotel area. Okay, so we definitely have to stay here. Not not enough time to leave the hotel area. Too much to get done. Hello, Mr. Edmund. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? I'd like a private hotel room. What do you want a hotel room for, Mr. Edmund Abu? To, um, none of your business. I don't know why you'd want a room when Chuck Abu always has plenty of space for you in his penthouse suite. Oh, yeah. I guess so. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to go now. You didn't see me. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. He looks so like depressed. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. Oh, I can just open on the elevator. Okay, so I'm already, uh, that's lobby and main floor, I guess. I'm not thirsty. It's a door to the hotel room hall and an event space area. Hmm. Okay, I feel like... That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broke. Hmm. Okay, so it has to be something on this floor. That doesn't seem to work. It says that contractors should use these photos to set up rooms correctly, so the Hotel Tron can determine when a room isn't clean. It's an unplugged TV. Someone must have left it here. It's not plugged in, and I can't see anywhere to plug it in. Hmm. like the other painting. All right. I am going to turn on the hang on. I'm going to turn on the lights in each room. This channel is just... It's now showing I love my cat. It's now showing banana, banana, bananas. It's now showing skiing for cash. It's now showing the rich and the soapy... It's now showing hospital hijinks. I turned it off. This channel is just... It's now showing I love my cat. <laughs> it's now showing banana, banana, bananas. just static. I should find another channel. Huh. This 
this channel is just it's now showing I love my cat. This channel is just, it's now, sh it's now showing banana, banana, bananas. I'm really not sure what I need to do here. Unfortunately, point and clicks do tend to suffer from this problem. This channel, it's now, sh it's now showing banana, banana, bananas. Of having puzzles that are pretty obscure. Just static. I should find another channel. I can't pull that. It's now showing, it's now showing banana, banana, bananas. Hmm. I'm just turning everything on for the moment. This channel, it's now showing, it's now showing. Hmm. I don't suppose I could use, like, my pillow bears to, um, like, use them on the bed. This channel, it's now, sh it's now showing... I could do with both a hug and a nap right now, but I've got to get ready for my meeting. An unmade bed. Hmm, looks fine to me. It's tuned to banana, banana, bananas. A hidden camera show that leaves banana peels in unexpected places like the toilet. Hmm. It's now showing skiing for cat. It's tuned to skiing for cash. A game show where contestants must ski down a run covered in slime. It's now showing the rich. It's tuned to the rich and the soapy. A soap opera that follows a rich and powerful family who really likes baths. It's now showing hospital. It's tuned to hospital hijinks. A drama about a T-Rex who becomes a doctor. Sadly, they don't have the budget to show the T-Rex. I turned it off. The radio is turned on and tuned to 198.7 FM. Huh. It's getting dark out there now. View. I'm going to try something. Oh, oops, I meant to go to floor twelve. Hmm. I don't want to pick. Amazing view. An ashtray for the smokers. An 
ashtray for the smokers. There's got to be something. And unfortunately, I don't actually even remember what I... Uh, what the number is for... remember what the number is for the hint line. I'm not using that. Chuck's probably monitoring every keystroke. Oh my gosh, there was just a random way. Okay, there are a few lights on. Impressive. Two on the top floor, one on like the third floor of. It's a revolving door. Hmm. Impressive. Two on the twelfth floor, one the floor down, and one on the fifth. Okay, so hang on. Let's hit up the 12th floor and check each door, specifically the ones close to the elevator. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. And I don't feel inclined to jump out of a window <laughs> just now. I hit use on the window instead of look at. I can't open that. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. There's nothing for it's me locked. to use here. The doors are closed. Okay, hang on. We're going to the 10th floor so that we can get access to one of those rooms with a phone. I'm going to see if I can remember the... Um... It's now sh- it's now sh- it's now sh- it's now sh- I turned it off. I think this was the help number. Hello? Hello? Someone there? There's no heavy breathing. Let me show you how you... Ah, here we are. 4468. Back to the Hintron 3000. How can I help you? The kid wants something cool and cutting edge. 
Do you have anything so new at in a prototype stage? Thank you. Goodbye. I... It wasn't letting me use the... The doors are closed. It wasn't letting me use them for anything else. I, I guess it's on me. I'm righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You'd do that for me? Oh, sick! Who would you want to trade? I'll trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Quick, before anyone notices I have them. First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. Okay. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel, most beautiful hotel abu in the tri Thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Um... You know what? He could pass for a George, George Michael. Michael. Of course, Mr. Michael. We have a lovely suite Abu for you on the seventh floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Michael. Oh, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends. Well, and I guess we know what we need to get from... We're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, you, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. Yeah. I guess we know what we're going to need for... Doors are closed. Go to the hotel room. It's on the seventh floor. Anyway, I think it just became clear what we're going to need to look into as far as finding out what happened when he visited this. It's gross pre-chewed gum. If I'm not careful, it will stick everything in my inventory together. Okay. We've had room 704. It's not giving me an option here. Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes. I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. What's that monstrosity? A hotel tron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. 
Hang on. Use the bubble gum on the hotel tron. It's a camera that appears to be filming the room constantly. Chuck's eyes are everywhere. I don't know how people put up with it. I could do with both a hug and a nap, right? Hmm. Oh, there's something here. It's some blank hotel stationery. It's a mostly blank piece of paper with the hotel's letterhead. Now, I think it would be more useful there than anywhere else I could put it. Ah, there we go. Hmm, that's not right. It's gone blank. Why does he have a pirate hat in his room? There seems to be a little problem, Abu, with your hotel drawn. There we go, sir, Abu. Huh, some blank paper got stuck here accidentally, Abu. I'll dispose, Abu, of this for you. No need to say thank you. We're here to help, Abu. Okay, so... We definitely need to stick something up there. But... Oh, we're getting a cutscene. We definitely need to stick something up there, but it needs to be something that won't make it clear that it's being Are covered you happy up. Now? I've done everything you asked. Hmm. So is he like being blackmailed or something? Franklin. Hmm. Nobody can recognize me now with this foolproof disguise. It's the key card for my room. Maybe now I can get access to the penthouse? That's no. Weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Oh, and it just dropped me off. Wait, I don't think it was giving me the option to look at that bit of it before. It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. The okay. Doors are closed. Okay. I may have just missed it as well. That is entirely possible. Waiting. What was that? I guess it was nothing. Looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly. No reaction. Perfect. Now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting. I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call. Okay. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. I mean, to being plain old Franklin. I can't think of many better ways to get rid of business in your hotel than to install a camera. So in every room. Here? Oh. Franklin was never seen again. Oh. And we're just finding I out about this now. More information. But there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel. But those of us dedicated to fact finding know that must be possible. Achievement unlocked. So Secret story. meeting. But you didn't answer my original question. Why are you here? 
I see I can't fool you. If you ever want to switch professions, we need reporters like you. That still doesn't answer my question about why you're here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was following up on a report that Franklin checked in here under a pseudonym. Finally. A pseudonym? What was it? All I could find out is that a man with a large nose was seen around the same time as Franklin. <laughs> and? That man checked in under the name George Michael. So it may not have been Chuck's brother. So Franklin's dead as well? No one knows for sure if he's dead. Isn't it a great time to be a journalist in Thimbleweed Park? One missing, a mystery body, and Chuck died of a heart attack. Did you find out the identity of the body in the river yet? I'm not telling the press what we have and haven't found out yet. Have it your way. What room did the man with the large nose check into? Hmm. It was a room on the seventh floor. I couldn't find out anything more without a shiny official badge, like you have. What's new in the news? Uh, just a bunch of reports about paranormal activity here at the hotel. Ooh, we're going to get cream. to call the Pigeon Brothers sisters. Why is it so hard to get information from you? Let's call it a job interview. <sighs> As I've said, I need good reporters so I don't have to run all over the county. I don't have time to be a newspaper reporter. Fair enough, but you know where to find me. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Okay. Let's see what all we have. Oh, we've got a key card for a hotel room, and it's not the same room. We also have the business card. Electrical and paranormal investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up oh. in the phone book for help with leaks, sparks, and frights. It's still showing December 1986. I guess they couldn't afford a new one for 1987. <sighs> I'll keep it simple this time around. It's been lipsticked to death. I don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. It's locked. See, here's the thing. I should... Oh, fine. I'll go talk to the sheriff, who is also the coroner, who is also the manager. <clears throat> Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the tri Zimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? You look awfully familiar. Have we met before? I don't believe a boo so. Well, there you go. Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, a boo. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not a boo. Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh, I saw him, but I don't know a boo what happened to him. Funny thing, a boo, though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose abu checked in and then disappeared. You don't say. That is an odd arena coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see abu now. It was a Mr. George Michael. Yes. Oh, he checked into a room abu on the seventh floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, so we've got two room keys now. 
got the one for 1009 and we've got the one for 704. Let's visit 704 first. You know, pick up where we left off from the flashback. That gun appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. I'm not touching that. We interrupt our hostile takeover, not- I can't pull that. Oh, I meant Ever to- This use. channel is just static. It's now showing- I love- It's now- It's now showing- Huh. It's now showing the rig- It's now showing- I turned it off. And now back to our special- Who's the fairest of them all? One sheet is enough. But my sheet is covered in blood. Okay. So the only thing in here is the used gum. Hang on, why are we lingering here? Oh, well, he is dead. What was all that about? Why couldn't they see me? <laughs> I'm dead? Hmm. Well, I guess that's probably what I deserve. About time you joined us in the land of the almost dead. Who are you? I'm Xavier, the head ghost, and I'm in charge of the ghosts. I run a tight ship. Everyone must pull their weight or face the penalties. What do you mean, pull their weight? Don't ask. Time to update the schedule for everyone to follow. Clara, you're on elevator duty. Don't let anyone get to the penthouse. I was just on elevator duty. No arguing. Now, Virgil, keep up the good work on front door duty. Don't let anyone in or out of the hotel. It's about time the living started realizing who's really in charge around here. Oh my. That doesn't seem right. That's irrelevant. New ghost, you're going to scare at least one person who tries to use the drinking fountain in the lobby. Okay? Everyone to work. What are you waiting for, Clara? <laughs> By the way, your brother died. Chuck's dead? When did that happen? I'm free of Chuck's tyranny. That is, I know he would have come here to tell me off if he could. I wonder why this head ghost seems so bossy. I've got to scare someone? Hmm. I'm so Maybe confused. <laughs> but at the same time, I really didn't see this twist coming. So, you know what? I'm going to accept it. Oh, hello. Let's head to the tenth floor. Okay, and enter this room. The label says Pilo Bear. I wonder how it got here. Huh, it's a passport. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. Okay, so we've got a toy bear, and we've got the passport. It's a German passport for Boris Schultz. So, real quick. Yeah, we have what we need for the Facetron report. I can't believe there doesn't seem to be a speck of dust somewhere in here. What an amazing view. I don't feel inclined to jump out of a window just now. It's an unplugged TV. I don't want to pick that up. 
Okay, let's try going to the penthouse. See what she does. That's weird. I swear I pushed the penthouse button. Must be broken. Hmm. All right, and we need to get spooked by someone in the lobby, and we are currently trapped inside the hotel. So if we come over here... The door is spinning ridiculously fast. No thanks. What could be causing that? A mechanical malfunction wouldn't do that. He is too far away. I'm not talking to a Brody like you. I'd rather hold on to this in case of a hug emergency. I'll just take a little hug to keep me going. Hmm. <laughs> I really thought that might trigger the uh Walter dude or whatever. Ugh, whatever his name is. Go back to the seventh floor. We interrupt our hostile takeover nonstop music with this important message. Fluoride is a conspiracy to brainwash your kids. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. I'll just take a little hog to keep me going. The Hotel Tron 3000 seems to think this bed is made. That gum appears to be the only evidence that Franklin was ever in this room. Hang on, what if I turn off all the lights? This is tricky. We have access to two hotel rooms. Well, okay, there are still a few people we can talk to. G and E. Wonder who that is. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel hmm. aboo in the Tri Timberweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Is anything going on in the hotel today? Nothing, aboo. Certainly not more cases of food poisoning. Definitely not aboo. What's going on with the front door? Yeah. It does that sometimes, and everyone worries that the hotel's boo hoo haunted. But it usually fixes itself at some point, Abu, within a couple of days. How else may I be Abu of service? I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Oh, I can switch. Okay, that was not made clear. Try to talk to Dolores. Visit Chuck's tomb to get closure. Scare one person at the drinking fountain. Escape to the afterlife. I guess the gum must be stuck there permanently. 
that doesn't use electricity. If I zap that, someone might notice and get suspicious. That doesn't use electricity. Maybe I should just find a hole to crawl into. <laughs> Okay, this is actually pretty funny. Okay, so yeah, it can zap, wail, moan, splash. Look at it's a door that tickles also surprisingly easy. Hmm. The view ain't bad from up here. The elevator isn't on this floor. Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> hold up. To stay focused and so the doors are closed. I have to bring the elevator to him for him to get on. Oh, that's fun. No one could go to the penthouse. Hmm. You know what? Actually, let's zap our way to the tenth floor. Ooh. Ooh. Hang on. I this can zap. Static. I should. It's now showing. I love my cat. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Strange signals are being transmitted by the government over the airwaves. We've taken a... Okay. Let's head back to the seventh floor so that we can pick up Reyes, unless... Okay, we can't pick up Reyes, so let's just go to the lobby. <laughs> I'll be honest, I didn't see the ghost... the plot twist with the ghosts haunting the hotel. Okay, um, I am going to bring Reyes down because I feel like it might be helpful to have him in the locations where our ghostly friend does his ghostlying. Okay, we need to get the plumbers called. Passable. I'm surprised you had it in you. 
Time for another ghost meeting. Clara, Virgil, get over here now. Virgil, good work on the door. That should do it for today. New ghost, average first scares. Keep practicing. Clara, stay on elevator duty. I need some privacy. This is outrageously unfair. Why do the men get to finish for the day? Enough complaining. Do you remember what happened last time? All right, all right. Sorry about him. We don't know who put him in charge. <laughs> okay. So we can go talk to Dolores. Hopeless things I need to do. Okay, we can go talk, try to talk to Dolores, and we can go visit Chuck's tomb to get closure. What? Why can't I leave? I, what? Why can't I leave? I bet it's Xavier keeping me here in this stupid hotel. Hmm. Hello. Okay, hold up. Dang it, I was hoping I could have him actively uh, splashing around in there. Um, I have one other idea of what I can do while I'm in here. Because we haven't been able to use the computer up till this point. Something other than the Hotel Tron 3000 is watching me. That doesn't use electricity. <laughs> How'd that happen? Something Okay, is so going I on. froze the What's drinking fountain. Here, the drinking fountain? It's, um. Oh, it's just the fountain of again? It still doesn't seem serious enough to call the plumbers. Oh hey, we can just chaos in there. I think they're setting up for something. I'll wait until they're done setting up before I go in. Oh. Huh. The elevator isn't on this floor. Oh my gosh, I went to the wrong floor. I can't reach that. The elevator isn't on this floor. Hmm. Xavier says talking on duty is not allowed. Also, I don't talk to new ghosts. Leave me alone. Huh. Sorry, but Xavier said no one could go to the penthouse. Zap that someone might notice and get suspicious. I get no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. Huh. This is a tricky one.
We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. Wake up, people! The government is stealing your right to free will. And now back. You know what? I'm gonna leave him in here. And just try and check some other things. Like, how is he going to respond when the TV on the 10th floor is... Um, <sighs> when the TV on the 10th floor is on. It appears to be powering itself. That's warped. Chalk's reach extends everywhere in this town, even from his grave. Is Ray looking over my shoulder again? You know what? Gonna leave him for a minute. We're going to look around elsewhere. Visit the old circus. Tickets, 25 cents. It looks like a circus clown horn. Keep your panties on, I'm coming. Oh my. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. So take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets Stick it where the sun don't shine. A pizza delivery for Ransom the Clown. <laughs> What's the matter, kid? Never seen a man wearing makeup before? <laughs> Look, face. You better start talking or get out of here. I don't need another chlorophobic wet. Pissing his pants on my doorstep. Uh, sorry, sir. I don't know what's come over me. <laughs> Jeez, shit. What the f is wrong with you? Let me just turn around for a moment. Ah, that's a bit better. I'm sorry about that. I guess I never did get over what happened <laughs> on my 10th birthday. Whatever, Bozo. Does this mean you're gonna have your back to me the whole time? We'll see how it goes. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? Hmm. As in, Chuck, my factory is too good to make toys, Edmund? Didn't know the pompous well myself, but I knew his brother Franklin. Weedy guy. Total Scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. I was a hit on The Tonight Show. I was on my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Isn't it obvious? 
We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would have been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. We heard you don't get along with the locals? Given my creepy clown face and Paul Sean for abusive name calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. But I don't need the validation of these small town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the tough stuff happens. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself, and the town folk leave me the f alone. They, I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here, and I can't go anywhere else after my f ex wife took me for everything I had. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, pencil neck. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. Okay. So I can't get through the gates. Are there any specks of dust here? So, there's the abandoned factory. Couple of random trails. And... Aim and the mansion. All right, let's hit up the abandoned factory. The path leads to the factory. Foreclosed by order of safely first saving. And in small print, the future used to be a one for clothes. And in small print, for inquiries, contact Safely First Savings, probate executor of this property. The future used to be a wonderful thing. Looks dangerous. It's locked. Hmm. Okay, so the only other place at the moment is the Edmund Mansion. Diggin! It's a very strange mailbox with a big tube on top. It's a very strange mailbox with a big tube on top. Excuse me, sir, may I ask what you are doing? I'm just digging mostly holes. <laughs> and then I bury them again, all neat and tidy. Very dry firewood. No, thank you. I don't need any wood. Digging? Digging. Better ring the doorbell. Hello? How can I help you? Federal agent. <laughs> what? First of all, there's only one person here, and second, I'm pretty sure she's an adult. Um, like <laughs> third that's not why we're here but i kind of want to click it are you kids doing drugs in here 
I'm sorry, this isn't a good time to chat. So, if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my sister about the will reading before heading out. She's waiting for me in the library. Well, okay. Just don't leave town. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to have to do that a separate really can't time. Talk right now. Maybe you can come back. Okay, then. Huh. Well, I'm assuming then the nothing I asked would have actually gotten a decent response. Anyway, I'm going to open up the map. Make my way back to town. Um, Main Street. Oh my gosh. It actually makes him traverse the entire thing. Okay, so we can take care of that easy enough. Boris Schultz. Pretty sure we can actually feed that report into the Arrestatron. It doesn't seem to be working. Odd. It seems to be missing a tube. Hmm. Well. It's an honor to work with you, Agent Ray. Sit back. There is something. There is something. I really. Why don't you let me? Well, I need to get back to solving this case. Oh, wait, I got. They're not even telling me when I have access to more characters. That's. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. That's the awkward bit here. Okay, so let's see what's up with Ransom. Feed Lil Beeper. Try removing makeup again. Get key to factory gate. Collect 20 more specks of dust. I hate my life. <laughs> oh... Circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. Who'd want to steal it? It's my wall safe. Same as last time you checked. I don't want to pick that up. No thanks. Better leave it where it is. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Looks very hungry. Lil Beeper is pretty vicious. He'd even bite me if I picked him up. He's probably hungry. Haven't fed him in a few days. Lil Beeper doesn't eat cheese. You think he's a rat or something? He's a f hamster!
meanest clown of 1970. I glued him to the table so no one could steal him back when I thought they were real gold. After 10 years, looks like it worked. What a f of a f still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. It's a page from my joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back into the joke book. Got the page stuck back in. Got the page stuck. It's my joke book in perfect condition. If you don't mind hamster crap. Hmm. It's my sample official ransom the clown. Wallet. Oh, well, we got to get a manufacturing deal when I'm back on my feet. I know what we're going to use that for. It's my lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. So I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? That's just my eviction notice from five years ago. Every time that sheriff tries to kick me out, I give him hell. He's afraid to come back. That's too far to jump from here. I need to be higher to jump on it. Really? You can't just... You know, lift your knees. I, I can't leave the circus till I feed Lil. Oh, wait. Won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. I don't want to pick that. Believe me, nothing's inside. I've checked. Hmm. Wait, there's a hole there? Looks like a Use moldy cheese on the hole. There's a big hunk of cheese here. Looks like a rat hole. Get there from here. There's another way. Okay, so that moldy cheese is definitely going to come into play somewhere. Ah, the backstage entrance. It's the list of all the who swore and paid up. It's my empty ransom the clown swear jar. It stays empty now. I'm not a wannabe pirate. You'll never get me to climb into one of those. Besides, it's pretty rusty and filled with rat. It's a box with a crank on it. Okay, so a snake pops. It's a snake in the box. Pick up the anti-itch cream. Oh, and we've got another speck of dust. What a f of a f still doesn't work. Well, at least I tried. Oh no. So much for better. I I didn't realize what I was going to do. It 
It's my specks of dust. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. Well, we tried removing the makeup again. I can't reach that. I can't reach that. Wait, I've got an idea. I'm probably wrong, but if I'm right, it's going to be really funny. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. Dang it, I was hoping that... I was hoping that because it was there, like, a rat would have come out and I could try and catch the rat from above. Um. And feed it to Little Beeper. Okay, let's go be Dolores. Dolores actually seems like she might have some potential. Moldy Thimbleberry Pie. famous Thimbleberry Pie. I keep it for good luck. Find out what happened to Dad. Fix missing a restaurant tube. Practice ASCII tables. Get the key to the factory gate. Talk to Lenore in the library. Collect 18 more specks of dust. Are we all just sharing the specks of dust goals? Okay, let's visit... Oh. There's nothing inside. There's nothing. There's nothing inside. I don't feel like the taste for non-trademark infringing poopsie now. There's nothing inside. 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 Okay, well, I think we've checked everything in here. Oh, hey, what the heck? He's digging inside. He's digging inside. Digging. He's digging inside. He's digging Hi, inside. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just digging stuff in the entryway. Mostly holes, but then I buries them again, all neat and tidy. Okay, Doug. You're doing a good job. Ta, Dolores. He's digging inside. Digging. This clock looks vaguely familiar. Maybe more highly rendered and smoother pendulum action. Is this the library? Where have you been, Dolores? We're all here waiting for you so we can start the reading of Uncle Chuck's will. Take a chill pill, Lenore. I had to answer the door. It was one of those federal agents. I don't care if it was the flippin' Pope. And hands off the cute one. He's mine. Let's get on with it, sister. I want to know what I got. Wait, I thought you said everyone was here. Where's the lawyer? I don't know. I thought he was coming with you. <sighs> oh, Lenore, you're useless. Has anyone tried calling him? Well, maybe if you hadn't left town and broken Uncle Chuck's heart, we wouldn't need to call the lawyer to read a will. This is all your fault, Dolores. Is this still out of order? It says out of order. Hmm. Hang on a sec. Uh, I think... Okay, we'll talk to Peter. Why not? Dolores, if you have anything to say, you say it to me. Peter is embarrassed to talk to a... Um, you know what? Dolores, if you have any... Stop bothering Chucky. Okay, we got off on the wrong foot. Let's try again. Lenore. Dolores, 
If you came for the will reading, you might as well leave now and save yourself the disappointment. Hmm. Uncle Chuck had a new favorite niece before he passed. <laughs> also, have you called the stupid lawyer yet? I want to get the will read and see how little Uncle Chuck left you. Do you know anything about Dad's disappearance? Dad probably ran off to hide somewhere. It's amazing that Dad and Uncle Chuck were cut from the same genes. One a powerful leader and the other, well, uh, spineless. Don't talk about Dad like that, Lenore. You're so cruel. How is Chuck Jr. doing? Chucky is thriving. Mm. Some people say he's a brat, but those people just don't recognize his blossoming leadership abilities. No doubt picked up from Chuck Sr. because he certainly didn't get them from his father. How are things with Peter? Fine. Just peachy. I can't believe we've only been together 20 years now because it feels like a flippin' eternity. So Uncle Chuck really hated me? Can you flip and blame him? You broke his heart when you left to become a you-know-what. A game developer? Oh, shh, shh, shh. Do you want the whole house to hear? Is my career really that shameful? Oh, hell yes, sweetie. Hang what on now. What people I do instead? Ransom is the only one allowed to, to swear. Up. It's better for the family name. <laughs> You tell people I'm a drug addict? Better they think that than know you chose to make those mind corrupting murder simulators for a living. For the last time, Lenore, <laughs> I don't make murder simulators. <laughs> oh, sure you don't, sweetie. Ugh. You know what? I don't care. Tell them whatever you like, you grody poser. But this makes us even for the time I used your homecoming crown as a conductor in my homemade generator. Would it kill you to help out a little? I wasn't the one who abandoned the family. I was always there for Uncle Chuck. So it's time for you to finally lift a finger and help out. Oh, gag me. All you were ever there for was a handout from Uncle Chuck. Oh, Dolores, I won't shed one tear for you when the will is read and Uncle Chuck left everything to me. I think we're done here. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. So the thing is, like, I don't think if I just open to L, I don't think it'll be under lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't remember the lawyer's name. my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. It's my state-of-the-art Commodore 64, with dual 1541 floppy drives and a blazingly fast 1200 baud modem. Oh, there's a speck of dust. We're getting more every day. You gotta love how there are only like two actual rooms in this house. Let's visit Uncle Chuck's it feels study. It's lonely without Uncle Chuck around. Okay, future historians might find it interesting. Tron tube. I think 
could have cracked the secret to AI. It's quite complex, but this neutron tube turns it into child's play. The first step is to automate some of the factory machines. Should increase pillow production by 700%. Automated most of the factory, laid off all the workers. Um, hello. I still need to keep Mr. Reyes on as a security guard until the security robots are functional. Well, I guess we're learning something about our character. Security robots are working. Programming manual is in the mansion library. <laughs> he added a to do to the code to fix a flaw. Tron tubes are the secret. Transistors are a dead end technology. I could win a Nobel Prize, but I need to keep it a secret. It's too profitable to share. Franklin is good with books, but I wish he'd keep his ideas to himself. Increasing the speed of the neural tube network for the Tron AI. So what I'm guessing is that the Tron machines are actually like the people responsible for all of this. Like, they're the ones that were blackmailing him and pulling the strings. <sighs> he fired the coroner, but then thought it would look odd if they didn't have one. And famous are flocking here. I've been neglecting my inventions in favor of too many parties. Dolores is a bright girl. Tend to the factory Tron. Need to tend to the factory Tron machines. Mr. Reyes has warned me about some strange behavior from the smarter AI. I don't see a problem with the AI. Mr. Reyes must be mistaken or paranoid about his job and making things up. Increase the neural tube network yet again. The main factory AI is having ideas. Distracted with this text adventure I downloaded from a BBS last night. AI in games, ideas to explore. Willie is dead to me. I'll make him pay for what he's done. She was my girl, not his. Willie's watch business is no more. I'll have my AI take care of his bank account. This guy is frickin' petty. AIs must have come off the grid. A small fire started on floor two and the pills went up in a flash. Yeah, I was supposed to be controlling fire suppression, but I had most of the Tron tubes working on my text adventure simulation. Went out to the factory today. It's been burnt to the ground. Mr. Reyes was killed trying to shut everything down. Is that like our dad or something? The guard bots thought he was an intruder and eliminated him. I think I can change the time clock so it looks like Mr. Reyes didn't check in. That should avert suspicion. Mr. Reyes will take the fall, but my AI won't be under scrutiny. It's too valuable to be shut down. Might be more than valuable. Okay, so this guy murdered our father. <laughs> well, murdered uh, Agent Reyes' father. Back at the factory, trying to clean up. Most of the factory AI seems to have been destroyed. Good news is that is the most complex systems were hard at work simulating my text adventure world and were unaffected. 
I'm going to move them to the basement. I didn't even know this house had a basement. Main AI agrees with my plan to pin the fire on Reyes. They have a kid, so Mrs. Reyes will be happy with some money and to move away. It's the last I'll see of them. I need to redouble my efforts on the main Tron machine. I think that's the key to AI and simulation. The loss of the factory seems to have affected the town. A few businesses have gone under, and thankfully there are fewer parties. <laughs> 1138. Where do I know that number from? Huh. Dwarves is growing up. This is when Franklin wanted to make pillows, or make stuffed animals instead of pillows. Dolores is my pride and joy. I might be able to let her in on the secret. I need her to take over the pillow factory. She'll be overjoyed. She seems to be interested in making games. I need to show her my text adventure. World is, the world simulation is getting good. She is out of my will. Dolores has turned on us. She's taken a job at a game company far from Thimbleweed Park. I need to discuss this with the AI. Maybe I was a little hasty with Dolores. At least she's making games. There might be hope. The AI see, says I need to forget about her. The AI makes a lot of sense. Discovered something amazing. Can't be true. Or can it? I'm on the last page of this journal. I need to get a new one. So much to write down. This is truly amazing. 1138. Uncle so Chuck was a strange and complicated person. Hmm. Oh, speck of dust. Achievement unlocked. Dust appreciator. It's a TX-1138 tube, in perfect condition. It's Uncle Chuck's custom-built multiband oscilloscope with phase memory monitoring. Too bad Uncle Chuck never finished working on him. Uncle Chuck never made his bed. And I guess Doug can't make beds with a shovel. Nothing in here but broken Tron 3000 vacuum tubes. It's a spare AT-25 Arrestron tube. Very rare. Oh. Hard to find. I'll pick that up. I'm going to need that later. Oh. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button and a speaker on it. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. It's a defunct robot prototype. That doesn't seem to work. I don't know why Uncle Chuck never let me touch this junk. Nothing here of value. Hmm. Okay, I think that's everything from there. Let's see if Dolores can leave the house. Actually, first, I don't need to find any books now. Oh, wait. First, let's see if that does anything.
Wait, dust. Now we'll talk to Doug. Hi, Doug. What are you digging? All right, Dolores. I'm just mostly holes. Oh, then I put his. Okay, Doug. Ta, Dolores. I like Doug. I don't need any firewood. Ooh. Speck of dust. Nice. So we're at the Edmund Mansion. What if... Okay, there's the old circus and the hotel. Let's visit the old circus, see if we can get the lawyer's card from Ransom. No feds without a warrant. Let's use the clown horn. I'd rather not. I have melophobia. Fine. Let's visit the the hotel. Impressive. Okay. The elevator isn't on this floor. I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I All right, let's head up to the 10th floor. It says Philip's dangerous device, and it has a red button, and I don't think I should use this. It says it's dangerous. Okay, and there's our dad. Dolores, it's me, dad. I'm really proud of you for getting that programmer job. You followed your dreams and didn't let Chuck hold you back. I wish I could have, you know, been as strong as you. Dolores, can you see me? I'm standing right here. I want to give you a hug and say I'm sorry. I wish I'd, you know, stood up for you against Chuck. I wish I'd stood up to Chuck. Chuck pushed everyone around and used his charm to make everyone forgive him. I saw it and, you know, didn't do anything. Goodbye, Dolores. I miss you. Okay, so we tried to talk to, we tried to, talk to Dolores. Pretty sure we're still here. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. This channel is just static. I should find another channel. I don't want to do that. It would make it look red. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't think I can do anything here then. The doors are closed. Locked. 
thing is, they expanded this whole thing to five different characters, I think. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> Yeah, we've got access to five different characters at this Stay point, which trouble. makes it really hard to tell what's actually going on. Okay, there is one more thing that I can think of. Um, let's go to the Vista. Agent Reyes. Thanks a lot. There we go. That'll save us a bit of time. And you. Thanks for the dust. There we go. We're making progress here. Anyway, now let's head back to Main Street. That should fix it. Another necessary report. Thanks a lot. <sighs> Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to play this game again. I just. I don't know, it's getting very spread out, and while I'd be happy to watch it play out on my own time. I'm not sure this is what I want to watch on stream. Um Pageant Brothers Plumbing. Electrical and paranormal investigations. We don't monkey wretch around. Huh. Look us up in the Okay, let's see here real quick. Seven, six, seven, four. Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. We don't monkey wrench around. The signals are really strong tonight, so we'll only come out for paranormal related plumbing and electrical emergencies. Please try us again later. Hmm. You know what? Let's have her visit the old circus, see if she's comfortable talking to the clown. It's closed. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. I'm not touching that. It's probably cursed, like ransom. I'm not touching that. It hmm. Okay, I'm just going to check everyone's to-do lists real quick. 
So those ones have the same. It's your to-do list. I need to feed Lil Beeper. Get the key to the factory, yay, and keep collecting dust. Oh. Speaking of which. Find out what happened. Oh, wait. I could probably have her talk to the sheriff in the hotel. Get lawyer to read uncle's will. That doesn't seem to work. <gasps> Pick up another speck of dust. Watch as the specks of dust turn out to just be like the most important aspect of the entire story. head down A Street. Maybe we can talk to Willie. Maybe he wants the moldy thimbleberry pie. Hey, Willie. Hi, Dolores. A long time no see. Well, that's what happens when you piss your uncle off by getting a fancy job at the video game factory. Good job on that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck was fuming. How have you been? <laughs> Can't complain. Got some new digs in the sewers with a great supply of mushrooms. Sounds banging, I guess. Oh, it sure is. Banging means good, right? Do you still do watch repair? I haven't done watch repair in years. Not since your uncle blacklisted me and I lost my business. I used to do watch repair for all the rich and famous of Thimbleweed County. I'm sorry my Uncle Chuck destroyed your life. Your Uncle Chuck was a petty, egotistical, arrogant man. But you're all right, Dolores. Oh. I guess in your case, the acorn does fall far from the tree. What happened between you and Uncle Chuck? He never really explained why he had you blacklisted in town. If you really want to know, I took one of his many girlfriends to see that creepy insult clown perform. Chuck never could stand to lose, even on principle. So he made an example of me. My uncle was such a jerk. You're a sweet kid. Now you might have your uncle's brains, but you still held on to your heart. Don't ever lose that. See you, Willie. The monkey paw knows. Welcome to the Thimbleweed Park Occult Bookstore, Dolores. The bubble fish has a banana. It's good to see you again, Marina. Dolores, you little mojo bean. So pleased to see you back in town. Hmm. If anyone has given you any trouble in the big city, you say the word, and I'll put a hex on them. I've got a really good one I'm dying to use that will turn their bathing suit parts green. What is it with you and those totally trippin' hexes? I like to get creative with my craft, dear. On an unrelated note, do you know anyone who deserves a permanent talking zit on their face? Oh, Marina. Enough with the curses already. Jeez. Although, if my sister keeps acting like a total bin bat, I might come back to you. I guess you heard about my uncle? Ah, oh, yes, dear. And I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, though? If you are sad, then I am sad for you, Dolores. Although I can't pretend that the idea of Chuck roasting in the fires of hell doesn't provide me with some amusement. That's like way harsh, Marina. But to be perfectly honest, I don't really know how to feel right now. People really left my uncle, didn't they? It was a mixed bag, my dear. Most of the town adored Chuck, but there were many of us who despised the man and sensed the darkness within. Hmm. 
What did you mean by the darkness my uncle had? Chuck exuded an aura of greatness, but that greatness was always balanced on a knife's edge of good and evil. The man was ruthless and fell into the dark a long time ago. I thought he wanted me to be happy, but really, he just wanted me to keep his legacy alive. I idolize my uncle, but if that's all I was to him, then I wonder if I ever really knew the man at all. How have things been since I left? Oh, same old, same old. Leonard ate all the donuts at the Quickie Pal, Ransom is still a jerk, cryptozoologists are hunting the tentacle monsters, the usual. Oh, you're the one with the exciting new life as a game developer. Tell me all about it. Do you really want to hear about my job? Yes, absolutely. Okay, but you gotta keep this under your scarf. We're gonna be bringing out these radical new text adventure games, but plot twist, they're gonna have pictures instead of text. We're calling them clickers, because you have to click on the picture instead of just typing. Totally mm -hmm. fresh, right? That sounds very nice, dear. I already read about that on one of those CompuServe chat rooms. You were on a CompuServe chat room? Get a clue, dear. It's 1987. There's a whole new world of online hexing opening up, and there's no way I'm gonna miss out. That and the internet is great for monitoring my stock portfolio. I had no idea Voodoo was so high-tech these days. Goodbye, Madam Marina. Come back anytime, Dolores. Buy me some kombucha? Guys, I've got to be honest. I'd rather play something that was doing... I'd rather play something where I feel like I can commentate more. Because right now we're just wandering around. I'm sitting here thinking. I think we're going to go ahead and save the game. Um... Double down. And we're going to switch to something else. So let's pause this for a second. So I do have another game lined up. If I can remember which icon to click on. All right, everyone. Welcome to kindergarten. We're gonna try this one out. Um, give me a sec to update. Give me a sec to update the stream category and title. I hope that is the correct kindergarten. It looks correct. Try this out. So today is Monday. Yeah, let's get a tutorial. Schoolyard, five time intervals, schoolyard, morning, lunch, recess, show and tell. Most characters want something done during the day. Try to pick one character to help each day, completing a character's task all the way. Unlock that character's special item. Special items can be reused infinitely. It's always Monday. Only special items are saved from day to day. 
Characters will respond differently to you depending on what items you have and what decisions you have made throughout the day. So it looks like we've got some money, some stuff in our inventory, that gum and a pill, and apples. Okay. Okay, I think I get the idea. <laughs> and there is just an there's just a button to eat apples. Hang on, I'm gonna try I'm gonna see if this works well with controller. Once you're out of apples, the bell will ring and you'll move to the next area. If you're outside of the area you started in, the, app, the bell will ring when you have one apple left. Oh, that is a trippy angle. So, the only thing we have right now is that piggy bank. I'm guessing the rest of this is just items that we can unlock. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. How are you doing there, Sonny? Don't mind the old janitor. You're just sweeping up after you silly cretins. Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. Yes, I'm up. Ah, so it is. You're also mopping the sidewalk. I'll be mopping your blood off it if you don't skedaddle. I don't want to skedaddle. I'm a man of my word. You're going to kill me? <laughs> so yeah, we are going to keep the mature content warning on. <laughs> Okay, we can talk to this guy. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be weird. This bugs. Hi, my friends call me Nugget. They what if I have <laughs> Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. <laughs> you know what? I'm kind of curious about this Billy plot line. What happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Pull. Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy, but Nugget cannot help him. Now it is too late. Do you know where he is? Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Your questions upset poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. 
Much, well, much better. What were we talking about? Billy. I don't even know what you're talking about. What's in those pills? I don't know. The principal gave them to me after I saw something traumatic or something. They're great. Principal gave you pills? Yep. Is that legal? Probably not. Don't you find that suspicious? I do, but he said that's the side effect of the pills. Of course. You want one? Sure. Oh. Okay. Um. jump in the pond and go home <laughs> I think if I want to progress any further I'm going to have to be um, I'm going to have to just eat my apples oh dang eating my apples just gives me money huh Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time, or you can be sad and pathetic and alone. As long as you're the best you can be, go find a partner. Um. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. You are curious about the ways of Nugget? Interesting. Perhaps you can be of some use to Nugget. Nugget is in need of a magnifying glass. Do this for Nugget before the next bell rings and you will be rewarded. Oh no, we're going to die. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going to go to the bathroom. Yeah, um, I think the janitor is predisposed to kill, so... Can I ask you to clean it? Okay, well...
So yeah, there's a magnifying glass right here, but I don't have access to the cubby. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so these are like little prompts before... Or these are little prompts for missions. So I can look through the cubbies if I, since I gave her the pill. I need a special item from Cindy if I want to get through Nugget's mission. There's a knife. <laughs> okay, let's keep checking the hints. We got two Monster Mon cards. So this is more of a journal than anything. You know what? I think I'm just gonna eat my last apple. I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm accomplishing literally anything. Take one and I'll give it to Cindy. Oh my gosh. We're gonna restart the room.
Hmm. Want to explore the options. Let's go talk to Lily. I'm not sure if this was a good call. <laughs> Maybe it's just my frame of my. Oh my gosh, I thought that chocolate bar said $1. No, that says $10. Okay, hang on. So if I bribe the lunch lady, I can just walk out. And if I bought the screwdriver, I could unscrew that. I'm just unlocking. Uh, heck. <laughs> okay. So there are some options here. I'm going to try following along this path, because I'm curious about the missing child storyline. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at the hints. I might need some... I might need some special items to start some of these. So Jerome, Cindy, and the teacher, I don't. Which means that to help Lily, I need a special item. We might actually want to start the day over. You know what? I think I'm just going to spam my way through everything. I'm going to see what happens if I do literally nothing. Well, I died. <laughs> okay.
So I got two new Monster Mon cards, which is the reason I didn't just start the day over. <laughs> Gotta go to bed? Alright, thanks for coming, Rafkin. Okay, so what she was, what it was saying earlier was that I need to get, looking at the hints, because I think I want to try out the teacher's route. I have to get robbed by bugs and tattle on him. So, let's talk to Bugs real quick. I think he just tells us to leave. But if I have something... Maybe if I buy something... Okay, so let's test out what I can buy. Hmm. So I bought that and it unlocked a hint with Jerome. Oh, hold up. We're gonna restart the day. So if I bring extra money to school... I get robbed! Okay. Let's check the hint, but I think now I'm free. Okay, so Bugs will take half the money if I bring extra from my piggy bank. There's probably like a special item or something. I think I'm starting to get this. It was a slow start, but I think I'm starting to understand what's going on. Bugs stole my money. He did. I'll make you a deal. Bugs is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. If you go over there and challenge him, I'll make it worth your while. Is this legal? Probably not, but if it, but if this is how I can start my underground kid fighting ring, then it's a risk I'm willing to take. What's in it for me? I'll give you a gold star. We all love gold stars, don't we? So hang on, what hint did I just get? Oh, it was just recording that I told the teacher bugs threatened me. What if he hurts? It'll build character. And okay. Oh, I l oh, how I love a good kitty fight. Just go over and push him a little bit. When he attacks back, just yell for me and I'll put a stop to it. I don't believe you, but I'm gonna try it anyway. What do you want, dweeb? I'm not giving your money back. Get out of here before I squish you. Squish me one. Oh my gosh. Shots fired. My daddy will come back. He just went to the store to get some cigarettes. Is all get out of here. I'll beat you so hard it'll make him proud. He'll never be proud. Yes, he will. If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Damn, wouldn't be so bad. Call for the teacher. 
Bugs, how dare you attack it? How dare you attack another student unprovoked again? That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so he can finally expel you. No, please don't. He started it. He's a liar. He said my dad was never coming back. Well, he's right. And after this little incident, neither are you. Now go to the principal's office or I'll have the janitor carry you there. But, but, go. Stupid rat. We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Okay, so I'm guessing that's a hint. Huh. Okay, so that's an alternate route, is to tell on him, but then not um, agree to help. Got a gold star? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I need to also try and get rid of Cindy. And I can get something from Monty. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so beat up. Oh, voice recorder. Yes, okay. Hang on, wait, what if I... Can I sell my gold star? I can. I'm gonna hold on to it for the moment, but... You know what? I'll take the item for setting up the situation. We'll see if I actually get to use it. <sighs> oh my gosh, did this girl call a hit on another little girl's brother? Your dog went missing too. Love biscuit more. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to focus on the teacher's um, situation. So, we're in morning time. High and mighty Jerome always talking back to me because his dad is my boss. I think it's time we finally got even with him. Principal has informed me that one of the hall passes has gone missing. I bet Nugget's life. <laughs> I bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much, but I make a teacher's salary, so we. So even by my student life valuing system, it's still a pretty significant percentage. Why don't you just take the pass? Not allowed to search a student without probable cause, and Lord knows there's no probable cause for searching the principal's son. That's why I need him to give it to you. I can do that. Excellent. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I can buy a yo-yo.
Okay, and... He wants a laser pointer. So if I wanted to follow this route, I would need to not talk to anyone on the way out. Um, except I got the pass from Jerome. Jerome, you little cockroach, we've been over this. You can't just steal your dad's hall passes. What? You read me out to the teacher? Dude! Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Please stop calling me that. No, because that's what you are. Teacher's special little rat, just like Jerome is teacher's special little suspended hooligan. Oh, come on, bro. I thought you were cool. Well, he's not. And because he's so uncool, he gets one of my special gold stars. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Oh, that was just perfect. You're natural at this. Let's keep this kid removal train rolling. Yeah. I got a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time recess starts. Okay. Feel free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in here. There. You'll have to get creative, though. Um... Okay, so if I want to progress this storyline, I have to... Okay. I want to check the hints real quick. Oh, somehow I skipped one of hers? <laughs> I'm guessing it's something interwoven into another person's storyline. Talk to Nugget after Jerome has been suspended. Somehow I already know that hint. Probably gonna have to sell those gold stars to get the money I need. Oh, she's crying. <laughs> Hang on, what? Okay, let's talk to Nugget. Wait, what? Nugget poisoned the Nugget. I'm gonna die? Perhaps. That depends on what you do next. What do you mean? Strange. Normally Bugs has thrown slop at Nugget's hell head by now. I got bug ex Bugs expelled this morning. You did? Oh my. Nugget's revenge on bugs would have been so satisfying, but I guess this does not cause any potential legal trouble for Nugget down the road. So about that, in it. Oh yes, of course. Silly Nugget almost forgot. There you are. Wouldn't want Nugget's new friend to cough up his own stomach, would we? Nugget is glad to have you as his friend. Please, come visit Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Hmm. Wait. Oh. 
Okay, so there are a lot of extra options here. <laughs> I put the gum in Lily's hair, but I couldn't I didn't have enough actions left to tell Cindy I did so. Okay, well. Anyway, tell the teacher you've gained Nugget's trust, get Monty in trouble during lunch. Why can't I sell my gold stars now? Hmm. I feel like I needed to buy something from him. I think I may have messed this up. Oh, huh. Because I talked to Monty earlier, he must have pointed out that I can't, the biscuits is spelled wrong. <laughs> okay, we just got a child killed. <laughs> I love how his icon in the top corner up there up there uh, it's now covered in blood there lessons were learned lands were drawn the trouble is I don't think I've set this up Oh, and I got some glasses, which means I can escape to trigger the Lily storyline. Or to trigger the next thing. I go to the bathroom. I have glasses. I found some glasses. Wait, does that not make her come out here? Oh. Okay, so I'm going to have to restart this room. Hang on. We're going to restart the day. I think I can do it right this time. Okay. Um, Okay, so I'm picking up the information. All right, let's talk to Monty, sell the gold star. Oh, that costs an apple. I want to buy something, give me the voice recorder. 
Um. I think I need to have the money to uh... oh I don't have an apple to buy it but I think I need the extra money to be able to not only um... Not only buy the yo-yo, but also bribe the lunch lady. Um... Okay, so now I've got the apple needed to buy a yo-yo. I like this. This is actually kind of neat. Got a gold star. I can't sell my other gold star. That is just pretty strange. I think I'm good to go with the rest of this. And actually, that extra money from eating those apples. Oh. Oh, okay. It was just that I didn't get negative magnifying glass. Wait. Hang on. <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of tricky to keep track of. Okay, grab the extra money. Go to school. Spam A through this. Talk to the teacher. Spam A through him. Call for the teacher. Got him expelled. voice recorder, sell the gold star, you should be good to go. I forgot to talk to Nugget before the end of this. Okay. Yo-yo. And now I 
I talk to the teacher? Friends. I don't think I have anything else I can do. Can I? I can't sell the gold star. finish the hour. Okay. <laughs> We've actually done everything I was planning to do. <laughs> Talk to this guy. And let's talk to her. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Got bugs expelled. Um. And we talked to him. He spelled biscuit wrong. Glasses. And now she actually leaves. Okay, so now we can get Lily in trouble during lunch and we can get out of here for free by giving her the glasses. I probably could have bought the screwdriver, but I won't worry about that for now. Oh. Okay, so she thinks the principal is the one who made her brother disappear. Yep, she's dead. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that a gun shot? Okay, I think I'm just going to finish off this period now. You got Lily, Monty, and Bugs. That's unprecedented. You've earned three gold stars. What about Nugget? Did you manage to befriend the little mole creature? Yes. I'm 
pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Okay, so... Thing is... The thing is, I just don't know if I can actually... Oh, hey! I got a Monster Mon card. Nice. I don't know if I can actually complete the Lily portion, or the Cindy portion. I don't know if I can get her in trouble too, or if there was something I needed to do earlier to make that happen. But I've been pretty up to, why, up to the wire on getting her stuff. There's only one thing I can really think of that I could do differently. Let's talk to Nugget. Thank you for coming as Nugget ass. Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter the Nugget cave? Yes. Excellent, but first Nugget must do something. What? There, now we are ready. Why did you just drop all those Nuggets in the hole? So we do not die upon landing. Nuggets, Nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty. Now please enter the Nugget cave. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Behold its nuggety goodness. Please have a look around. Okay. Oh, the little doggy. Nugget forgot that was there. Is it dead? Yes, it is, but do not fret. Nugget did not do that. Nugget was just digging the Nugget Cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. Take the dog. There's a Monster Mon card. Take that. And is that an egg? Is that a tomb? Is that a headstone? Okay, so I think I have to talk to him to get out. I'm guessing... The dog corpse will do it. <laughs> That's Cindy's dog. Wait, I've got the recorder. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to restart the day. One more time. I think we can do this a little bit differently. I think I remember the te the process. I have to get beat up. to buy something by the voice recorder I'm not going to sell my star because instead
Okay. I think I have to progress the Cindy plotline a bit. Now I buy the yo-yo. Okay, I got the pass. I ratted Jerome out. the actions I think yeah I now I'm really confused Oh, you know what? I think I know what I need to do. <laughs> I think I just figured it out and it's way simpler than any of the other options. Okay, talk to him, make him fight me. We can do this. We can do this. I think I actually just have to not give it to her during recess. Like, not give the dog's body to her during recess. Buy the voice recorder. And... going to try that. Buy the yo-yo. Rat him out. Did 
Okay. Befriend Nugget by eating the nugget. And let's talk to the teacher again. Oh, okay, so taking the pill was completely useless. I'm just gonna eat the apple then. Talk to Nugget. Okay, we're making progress. She leaves. Hmm. Hold up. Restart room. I actually think that I can... I think that if I take... I think I have enough actions to do the gum thing... here. Talk to him. Talk to Nugget. Call out his spelling error. See, I like this for a puzzle game, because it's very punchy. Like, it, the pace is up, and we can speed through parts. Hmm. I found some glasses. Knock on the door. Lily was eavesdropping on you. I knocked to let you know. <sighs> Got Lily in trouble. You're covered in blood. Let's catch up. Now I can go back in here. Okay. Wait. I'm I want to tell Cindy that I'm put that I put gum in Lily's hair, but it's not working. <sighs> okay. We enter the nugget cave. Grab the card. Take that. Leave the cave. 
and oh I didn't mean to do that hmm let's check this Then a hall pass. Okay, we might try this again tomorrow or next time because I'm not sure this will work and I don't know if I've actually got time to do another round if it doesn't. But I'm going to see what happens. Okay, hang on. First of all, hints. Okay, so Nugget can only be eliminated if Cindy has been eliminated. So... Wizard Worm is in the Nugget Cave. Oh, that just tells me the location of the card. Okay. So I died there. I'm going to finish the room so I've got all of those saved. Okay, so we're going to go down there, get what we can. Head out. Nothing yet. And then I'm just going to finish this period. I think that means I fail this route, but... <laughs> so hang on, what hint did I just unlock? Okay, so I can give the pill to her while playing house. Okay. We don't have much time, but I think I want to try one more time. Start the day with extra money.
Okay. Talk to Monty by the voice recorder. Hang on, sorry. Okay. <sighs> Isn't our love enough? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, luckily I've got the voice recorder. <laughs> okay, but we are getting sent to the principal's office. Hold up. I think I need to do that in a different pe at a different time. Okay, I'm going to adjust the order for this. Get robbed. Get into a fight. Get him expelled. And you know what? I'm going to buy both the recorder and the yo-yo during this period to free up actions during the next one. Now she wants me to get Jerome in trouble. Get Jerome in trouble. Get my second gold star. Talk to Nugget. And try and make friends. Talk to Cindy. Really? That didn't work? <laughs> okay, so I think I have to get him off the hook. <laughs> Again, times two. So it does keep track of how many full days I've done. <laughs> I've only done two. But I think with enough button mashing, we can get through this. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to hit accept my fate.
Okay. Next time we'll follow some different routes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, first off, buy the voice recorder. Next. Isn't our love enough? Why? How would you do that? Not apologizing. Okay, so we have to get sent to the principal. Recorded the incident. Okay. I do need to buy the yo-yo. This is actually like... This is actually a really tricky puzzle because we have to keep track of all of these different... Um, We have to keep track of all of these different actions and how we're going to use them. Okay, now I have to talk to Nugget right now or I miss my chance. Eat the Nugget. There's nothing else I can do right now. Okay, first things first, talk to him, find out that the sign is spelled wrong. Get Monty killed. Get the glasses. She leaves. Talk to Nugget. Okay, I'll try. Otherwise, you'll look like a sissy. Oh, heck.
Hold up. Restart the room. I think I did this out of order. Okay, let's consider all of our options. Okay, what if I eat that and then pay for it? Yeah. I didn't do this right. I needed more money going into this. I. Because the trouble is, I don't have enough apples now to get them both in trouble. Let's wrap up today. We'll at least see what happens when Nugget is eliminated. got knocked into the nugget cave. Dang it. <laughs> I might play through this at least once by myself. Um, we're gonna call it there, but I think we'll play this again. This is actually a neat puzzle. I'm probably going to play through this scenario at least once by myself. Um, just to check some stuff about when I can manage to perform different actions. Um... So yeah, I feel like there's got to be a couple of other ways that we can approach this that might make this possible. Or maybe we just need to unlock items. 
either way, I think this will be a fun thing for a future stream. As far as the Bully part goes, I just, I wasn't finding it as fun as I expected to. Like, the puzzle aspect I enjoy, but I didn't enjoy that I didn't really have anything to say or to discuss. Um, and I felt like I was kind of just running around clicking on things, which not really the type of thing I want to do on stream. So, hey, thanks everyone for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. Hope to see y'all next time. And next time I think we will be revisiting some more kindergarten, because I actually really find this funny. Um... So yeah, thanks Lastborn Child, adios to you too, hope to see y'all next time, later folks.